Right, hello everyone. Welcome to all that has uh, decided to be part of a group healing. This is the first time I've done a group healing. I have done free um, demonstrations for individuals that have turned up and were a lucky five or six people will be able to work on for 20 minutes, 25 minutes, and that's worked really well. Um, hi, Elizabeth. Uh, glad for you to be here and Michaela. Uh, and this time round, we're not going to pick out five or six individual people. We're going to incorporate everyone within the healing. Uh, and what I'm going to essentially do, hi, Sinan. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to leave it up to my source, okay, or my channel. And we're just going to open up and ask, well, once we get a few people here um, and uh, I'm going to ask what is going to be the most appropriate healings we need to do as a collective, okay? Uh, might come from the point of view of, hi Chris, um, humanity or just you know, the group that we have here. So, and you're going to get a feel for some of the um, clearings that we're going to do and also have different tools as well because the thing about the different geometries uh, and also tensor ring technology, and it's not only just rings but the whole idea of the twisted wire component of it uh, give, facilitates a, a certain healing or certain energy. Okay, and that's the thing about sacred geometry is we can use one particular tool, okay, and use our intent with it. And sacred geometry amplifies that intent. But there are also certain geometries that facilitate a certain energy through, and it's better than an, maybe another geometry. So we're going to go through that a little bit as well. So you get a feel, and, and if you're <clears throat> very energy sensitive, you'll get a, a feeling of the difference between different geometries and what they facilitate. Um, also going to use um, a lot of the new tools that are coming through to me. Um, I've been a, 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 I'm a distributor currently and also a follower of crystalline energy tools, uh, which come from Canada. Uh, anyone that's uh, connected to also Chris Kaler, um, and also Wayne Gados, who creates the crystalline energy tools, will know what I'm talking about. Um, but I'm kind of going away from those tools because I've been channeled to kind of bring out a, a new line of tools, which some of the um, geometries you may be aware of already with some other people doing a similar type of geometry. <clears throat> and some are brand new. So we're going to uh, bring those into the session as well. So, hi, Audrey. Hi, Faye. Okay, so we're starting to build up numbers now. So there's about nine or ten people here. So that's fantastic. And we're going to get started very soon. Um, what we're also going to do is uh, probably a lot of clearings are also going to come from my main tool that I use, which I call the Hypercube. Uh, and I'll show you just now what, what I mean. So this is the Hypercube here. So it's quite a big geometry tool, and I don't, I don't obviously lift it up and put it in front of the camera. So it's quite a big tool. And... Uh, so it's a, a cube within a cube, okay? And uh, the issue with one cube, or a cube is it's associated with Saturn or where that's where the word Satan comes from. And we call that the black cube, okay? Now, the thing about a cube and understanding uh, the geometry of a cube and also geometry of the hypercube is a cube is a 3D geometry, a hypercube is a fourth dimensional geometry so that's the difference there plus the cube itself is not the problem it's the intent with the cube like as i say with anything with sacred geometry or geometry as chris Kaler always says that the geometry is a gun uh your the intent is the trigger okay so when we look at the cube and why it's called a black cube is because there's negative intent associated with the cube uh, amplifying that intent we call that black cube it's a bit like when we say black witchcraft. Witchcraft that's being used to harm, we can either use the intent with a geometry tool to harm, or we can use it to heal. And that's really the difference between black and white, so to speak. Okay, it's just polarity, right? So there's nothing really wrong with a cube. It's just the intent going along with the cube, okay? And the cube facilitates energy, and it holds on to energy. Um, and um, there was a point... Hi, Josie. Hi, Chloe. Now, and hi, Robin. So there was a point where, for me, I needed to understand what reality is. And I, and I just wanted to quickly talk about this, and then we'll get into the healings. 
but a point where I needed to figure out what reality was. Okay, it wasn't just a matter of thinking, hey, how do I remove this health problem? And, and I, I love doing that, and I love helping people with that. But if we want to really figure out why we have all these health problems, why there's so much suffering in this world, we need to understand why, who created that, right? What, 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 why, why is our reality this way? So there was a big, it was a, a, a big overwhelming awakening with me that I need to figure that out. And what I found was that we lived, we lived within a simulation, okay? And what you're seeing in front of you on the camera is my master self or coded self within the simulation or within this reality, okay? While we also are connected to our energetic self, which we call our source self. And some people use the word soul, but really a, mo a lot cleaner word is source and um, <clears throat> the thing about this reality the simulated reality when we were uh, controlled at a very very deep level and we're coming out of that we're, we're getting we're getting places now is we were boxed within a black cube okay our reality was within a cube but it was from a negative intent because it was uh, created and you often hear in our history that there were seedlings of humanity, right? So that means there was not only one set of humanity, it was more seedlings of humanity. And what that means is humanity was growing. We don't hear any other word other than seedling. And seedling is growing something, right? So humanity or our species were growing, okay? And we see all these beautiful uh, geometries all around the world, which we call kind of... Uh, um, architecture around the world like the pyramids that we see all around the world and sacred sites and <clears throat> saying that these were great uh, uh, civilizations at one point and we think well, where did they go you know now they were a seedling of humanity that figured it out they figured the answers and figured out how we get out of this reality and they left but lo and behold <clears throat> the controllers of this reality grew humanity back Hence the word seedling. So <clears throat> the whole ascension process is about us escaping from the black cube and going into another simulated reality because you know a lot of the people here are ready to be awakened, are ready to be uh, exposed to the truth, right? And, and and ascend. But there's a lot of people still in this in this reality. I don't really like to use the word planet. I'm gonna say in this reality that are not ready for it yet. And that's why we are making drips of disclosure and steps into another reality. It's going to be another simulated reality, but it's going to come from the intent of uh, not manipulation so much, more about um, helping manifestation of the things that you want. And we call that, and you can call that the white cube again, that whole polarity of point of view, right? <clears throat> now, that white cube or that reality we're going into, is it going to be in a fourth dimensional structure, not a three dimensional structure? And that's what you're looking at there. Okay, and that's that's where that came about. Okay, so you've got a cube within a cube, and you've got a channel or a gateway, and I call that the gateway of ascension, that you're going from a 3D form into a fourth dimensional uh, structure. Okay. Uh, and we call that the hype cube, the tesseract, okay? Now, that's a source of energy. And that's not a geometry that facilitates an energy. It's a source of energy, okay? And I'll use that for a majority of my clearings now. Um, and we've got some other tools that we're going to go through. But what I want you to do first, I'm going to start dowsing and see collectively what we're going to do for, for the first clearing. But what I want you to do is think about something that you nothing specific more generic so something that you feel like what would be a really good collective clearing for humanity or for ourselves okay this this might be for ourselves like a uh, heartbreak or uh, hard times in regards to uh, relationships it could be regarding ascension wanting to be more connected to ascension and being ascending um high, having higher vibration uh, building consciousness within one, one another is collective consciousness. I'd love to hear what you have to say. So please post and it gives me ideas that we can, I can bring to my channel that we can look at what clearings we want to target or focus on. Okay. So you get to that and I'm going to start dowsing now and we'll see what we can do. Okay. 
Right. Okay. Who are we who are we connected to at the moment? Who do we need to be connected to? Okay. What would be the, a great clearing for us to get started with a group clearing, a collective hearing for everybody here that is here with a, 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 this truly holistic group healing for humanity, please? What would be the, a good clearing to start for everybody, please? The appropriate one. Okay, please. I am. Yep, that is. Using the all four. Okay, so before, uh, now I've got a question this morning about um, dowsing, okay? And what pendulum I use and so on. Hi, Monica. Hi, Francine. Um, now, Monica, in regards to liver producing much cholesterol, okay? Now, the thing about cholesterol, it's a metabolic problem, okay? It's not about eating too much pro, uh, cholesterol or fat in your diet, okay? It's more, the only thing that has a relevance in diet is if you're eating food, too much food that's not compatible to the body, okay? So there are a lot of natural food sources that we have that have cholesterol in it. Don't be alarmed by that. Um, I quite often see a lot of people that you know, are eating too much carbohydrate, even people that drink too much alcohol or, or uh, maybe are not compatible to alcohol, that really disrupts their cholesterol numbers. So don't go by the mainstream model of what causes issues with cholesterol levels. Remember also cholesterol levels is just the numbers on a piece of paper, okay? That was a test created to sell a medication, uh, a form of treatment, um, really distraction and, and based of what really is causing heart disease. So, um, probably do it need to do a clearing uh, or cleaning of the liver um but again that's probably more of an individual specific problem um we may look at it as a group healing but uh, we'll just see how we go yep human great one josie fantastic yeah hi mike how are you good to see you right okay so what we're going to do for the first clearing we're going to use infinite frequencies, and I'm going to explain a little bit before we get into it because I want people to understand that half the heal, half the healing is understanding reality one, and, and healing, and also understanding what all this is about. So, first of all, I'm going to show you. So, that is the geometry used for infinite frequencies. It's pretty cool, eh? And a lot of people go, it looks like the flower of life, the, the seed of life, and so on. And I've looked at those geometries, and it's not the same. Okay, so what this makes this up is, is that, okay, which which is an infinity symbol. Okay, and it's twisted wire to have twisted it, I had to twist it. And it had to be that size for it to work properly. Now, you can have uh, infinity symbols that are smaller, for example, that one there. And that will work. That will give off the energy of infinite frequency. Okay, one of the frequencies. Now, <clears throat> that that's tall, that size makes it even more powerful. Okay, I was told it had to be that size. And then when you put four of those together, you get that. Okay. Now, the thing about this is, what the word infinite is very powerful because you think about infinite, you think about limitless. Um, you're thinking about limitless power, really, or energy. And what we talk about frequencies is we talk about the spectrum of light or sound. Okay, these are all channels for frequency. And infinite frequencies is every frequency there is, right? A broad spectrum or bandwidth of frequency. Okay. Now, what I'm finding is when we give an area infinite frequencies, it's like a big torchlight we can place on that area. And there's nothing that can hide in that place or that area anymore, okay? We give the area infinite frequencies, and lo and behold, all of a sudden we can get, opens the doors up wide, we can see what the issue is a lot faster. Now, what this is going to do for a group healing is, is, is going to immerse or allow your body to be channeled or sourced by an infinite amount of frequency, okay? What I'm also finding with DNA and RNA, and I'm, I'm Pretty sure we'll do that clearing and activation with everyone here today 
is that the DNA, RNA, and even the telomeres are like solar panels to light. And you'll hear in mainstream science that we have junk DNA. Now, they call it junk DNA because it's not being used. And they think, well, because it's not being used, it's just junk DNA, right? We don't know what it is. But it's not being used because it hasn't been activated yet. And what, why it hasn't been activated yet? Because it hasn't been in contact with certain frequencies to activate it, okay? So we're going to do that as well. But first of all, we're going to do this. So everyone get ready for this one. Any way you want to take it in, you may want to stand up or you may want to sit and close your eyes. Uh, but here we go. So hi, Irina. Good to see you. Autumn. Tara, great. Okay, here we go. So what I'm going to do with this is I am going to I'm going to place the camera on it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so for everybody watching, listening to this live Facebook stream, infinite vibration of frequencies, true, please. For everybody watching and listening to this video, this Facebook Live, infinite vibration, infinite frequencies, true, please. Infinite vibration of frequencies, true, please. Infinite vibration of frequencies, true, please. Saturate flood and source and sustain everybody watching and listening to this video with infinite vibration and infinite frequencies, please, using the four infinity symbols in this configuration, please. Infinite vibration, infinite frequencies, true, please. Infinite vibration, infinite frequencies, true, please. Okay, so let's just start to slowly taper off. Infinite vibration, infinite frequencies, true for everybody watching and listening, please. Okay, so that's that's tapering off now. So we'll just bring that back up here. Okay. So anybody that felt that, okay, everyone has a different sensitivity to energy. I get clients that can't feel it so much, and 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 then they get a clearing later in the day or a few days later, and some people were just yawning every clearing we're doing, okay? And they're feeling it big time, okay? Um, <clears throat> now, in regards to infinity, <clears throat> infinity symbols, four infin infinity symbols, and uh, creating infinite frequencies. Now, <clears throat> I've been getting a big download of, in, in regards to this lately, and some of, uh, quite a few of you might have seen my post, uh, either here on Instagram, oh. you know, talking about the... Hypercube, and I was um, look watching uh, a clip about Iron Man 2, okay? And I, I love watching all that stuff, uh, the Marvel Universe and regards to the Avengers and all those sorts of things. And, you know, the movies like The Matrix and stuff like that, because really, you know, the, they, hide, they, they hide all that information in a way of putting it in sci-fi, but really it's drips of disclosure of what really is actually happening out there. And lo and behold, watching Iron Man 2 and then um, Tony Stark, you know, the character in the film, looking for a book of his father, and lo and behold, there's a test rack or hypercube uh, picture. And it looks exactly like the hypercube I've got here, okay? Now, for anybody that's watched, you know, the Avengers films, there's like a blue cube, and they call it the test rack. And, you know, it's a cube, right? But it's blue, and it looks nothing like that. But within the book, it actually, in this clip that I showed, it looks exactly like that. And they talk about it being a source of energy, which when Dow's in, that's what I've come to find it's a source of energy. Now, when I thought about the word infinite and infinity symbols, the last Avengers film was called Infinity War. 
And it talks about, you know, Thanos, a guy who then is, needs all these stones of, which is like space stone, mind stone, soul stone, you're all the components of kind of what we holistically think of the, the human body sh is part of, okay, or what makes it up. And I kind of thought, well, is there any relevance to that? So I doused upon it and it said yes. And it said not exactly like that, okay, that, that's, that's a little bit different. But so I looked into it and we thought, well, if these infinite frequencies, that must be made up of certain components and, and lo and behold it is. And it was made up of four main components. And when we look at it, what we've got here, we've got four infinity symbols together to create the infinite frequencies tool. So again, okay, there was uh, proof in the pudding there. And lo and behold, been starting to add it to sessions. Um, and lo and behold, we're, we're, we're just channeling a certain frequency, like a source frequency or a infinite frequency or a, a, a built, removing the built reality frequency up. Now, what that means, the built reality is, is this reality, the simulation reality, uh, which I guess if we relate it to the matrix, is a matrix world, so to speak, right? And then, then there's the real world, right? Um, the whole thing of ascension is us getting closer to our true self, okay, which we <clears throat> may call our soul or our source, okay? And that's whole, and the only way we do that is we're by removing the veils of and strip away the, the lies or the deception of this reality, okay? Um, and we can only do that if we get exposed to <clears throat> a more broader spectrum of frequency and the infinite frequencies can give that to us, okay? So that's what that's all about. Okay, so I'm starting to get some ideas from people now, okay? And I'm just going to quickly write some of these down. Um, <clears throat> definitely heartbreak. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to just start to do some more dowsing. We'll see what the next clearing we, we're going to do. Oh, hi, Sin, yeah, Vesca Pisces Starburst, I, my personal opinion, okay, and I guess it's not my personal opinion, because I'm only channeling information here, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, Starburst is more powerful than the Vesca. Now, one thing about the Starburst, the Starburst, which is, now, uh, there are other people that make the Starburst uh, around, but I, this is a tool that I'm making now, distributing as a starburst, okay? And it, it's based upon the geometry or uh, from a guy called Bill Reed, okay, who used to work with a guy called Slim Spilling. And Slim Spilling was the guy that really brought um, tensor rings uh, to, to mass consciousness of humanity, okay? Um, and he created this geometry here, which looks like a star, right? Um, now, this actually symbolizes uh, Alpha Centauri, okay? Now, Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri are actually uh, the beings that come from there. And I guess, again, there's a, a, sport, uh, a, a, a broad spectrum of different beings that come from there, are very loving, okay? And uh, they, they have a very close connection with the vibration of love. They're very strong in that energy. And that's actually our main sustenance of who we are. Okay, we, we uh, love, and when you really think about this reality that we've been in for such a long time, which I call the black cube, there's a lot of suffering, isn't there, right? You know, and a lot of fear, okay, and fear is the polarity of the opposite to love, okay? And why so many people are suffering is because that's not our main sustenance. Our main sustenance is love, right? You know, it's not about just having, being in a loving relationship. It's about loving ourselves for one, but also, you know, if we're going to be here and we have to earn our keep, right? We, we live in a reality of Babylonian money-making system. We've got to have a house over our head. We need to figure out if we can do something that we are paid for, but we love to do, right? Okay, and that you see majority of people out there are doing jobs they hate to do, right? Now, and that's a, it's a form of suffering because we spend a majority of our talent, time in a place of work or, or something on that, that nature. Some of us don't, but so what I'm trying to get to here is, you know, we need to do what we love to do, okay? Whether that's even our diet, you know, and there's a lot of suffering within our diet and nutrition. You know, we're being told, do this, do that, do this, do that, which is all distraction to make you confused, right? 
to get you away from the answers you have within yourself because we all have this intuition capability okay and it's about trusting that removing the doubt okay all this distraction around you is trying to create doubt in you every single day doesn't matter whether that's you know within all the facets of life science for one okay um so when you come to nutrition and diet you have to find a happy medium of hey eating a whole foods diet is a great place to start but you need to make it fun okay it has to be happy you have to enjoy what you're doing because even if you're eating the most cleanest diet there is and you're suffering and struggling to keep at it it's not going to make you well okay because you'll never be well if you put yourself in a state of not being happy okay and that's what it is everything's about happiness okay so if you've got the choice of eating the most healthiest diet which i'm not saying you shouldn't or being in a place of happiness you're always going to take the place of happiness that's the key okay so starburst that's a cool tool and what we'll do thanks for bringing it up that question was fantastic Sinan, in uh, regards to visca pisces and the starburst what we're going to do is we're going to do a clearing with this tool now while i have it in my hand okay so what we're going to do i'm going to do, do it there's a couple of ways of doing this okay now this tool here which i'm going to be it's going to be on my website soon in regards to people can purchase this from me we're going to make it a really good price for people to afford this because the cool thing about this is this is more powerful than the visca pisces but it's going to be cheaper than the visca pisces now uh this actually sit in, you'll be aware of the uh being part of the true quantum healing the uh sundering tool okay and the sundering is a broadcaster tool and it broadcasts the energy out I actually don't have one here close to me it broadcasts the energy out whatever you place within the ring it broadcasts the energy out this does the same thing you can kind of understand that because it's all going outwards in different directions right okay so what you can do with this tool is you can place an intent on it write a piece of paper on a tent and that will broadcast that intent out 50 fold 50 feet okay so i think the sun ring does like 22 feet so this is broadcast the energy further out you can also put crystals if you're into crystal healing put a crystal on it that will broadcast the energy of the crystal out 50 feet so it can you know into your entire house or property if you like now another thing what you can do is is um you can hang this up and let let it let it spin okay and what we're going to do with this first clearing first healing we're going to just do the spin okay we'll do this first and then the second one we're going to do is we're going to put the camera over top of it and give you the energy of it okay so here we go okay for everybody watching here you go starburst energy true starburst energy true starburst energy true loves to be spun starburst energy true please starburst energy true starburst energy true starburst energy true okay and what we're going to do i'm going to put it down here and i'm just going to place the camera on it okay here we go for everybody watching listening to facebook live starburst energy true please starburst energy true hey kevin michael beats your sun ring no it shouldn't do um as long as everything's intact okay and it hasn't like had a uh hasn't broken the ring itself uh it should still work for you hi carol okay yeah great question Sinan. um it's a facilitator of energy from what i know with this the starburst it's a facilitator of energy
for everybody watching and listening, starburst energy true, please. Starburst energy true. Excellent. People are feeling it. Great. Oh, it's good that it's resonating with you now. So while this healing's going through and this energy's going through, I'm just writing a few things that people are, are, are wanting done as a, as a collective. Again, it's going to be collective things, not individual things. Living with greater clarity of mind. Great, Audrey. Ah, and peace in hearts. Excellent. Excellent. Now, good. That's a, that. That brings me to another thing: is um, the mind and the heart connection, right? Um. Now, we spend too much my, too much time in regards to up here, don't we? Um, and we'll get to that once I just write. Yeah. Connecting with. Our true selves. Yep. Beautiful. Right. Let's bring that back up now. Okay. So talking about mind and heart, right? <clears throat> we spend so much time up here. The whole idea of this reality is to keep us distracted. Okay. And that gets us stuck in here and getting away from here. Okay. So hi, Karen. Great to see you here too. And Giovanna. Um, <clears throat> yes. So the mind okay is what do we what do we practice to get the mind clean or clear meditation right now what meditation is and it doesn't necessarily mean you have to sit there and got your legs crossed okay you know you, doing something you absolutely love that you feel at peace in mind with is meditation going for a walk through uh the woods you know being amongst all the trees getting away from everybody that's meditation being out of your gardener, if you're out in the garden, you're in the soil, got your hands into the ground and, and grounding yourself at the time, meditation. Okay, so the whole thing about meditation is blanking or keeping it silent to your mind. Okay, so what is the mind then? <clears throat> the mind is where you get channeled information. That's your mind. Okay, now <clears throat> if you're connected to something in a negative way and you're being channeled negative information, Go and all of a sudden you've got all this information in here and plus information that you're seeing on your news and all around you that's trying to distract you from connecting to who you really are, finding out who you really are. Okay, that clouds your mind because the mind's natural state is to be vacant, okay, and be therefore be silent, right? And and then allow your connection of your true self, your source self to come in and guide you and channel you okay so that's the mind okay now the heart okay is we have a physical heart which is a physical manifestation to allow love vibration to come through i use the term sacred heart and, and uh, that's a really good one to do and i think we will do a clearing in regards to this <clears throat> okay so let's ask while we're talking about that let's do that as next clearing so let's ask what would be the best thing to do Okay, what would be the best thing to do in regards to living greater clarity of our mind and peace in our heart? So we've just talked about sacred heart and our mind's capability. So what would be a good collective clearing we can do now, please? So I'm going to show you what I douse here. So I don't use a pendulum. Okay, so I just run my hand over the charts, right? So what, what would be the clearing we can do now, please? S A sacred sacred heart, correct? Yeah, sacred heart. Okay. Okay, so what it's telling me is it gets a real gets a real pound in that sheet. You'll see these little holes and stuff on it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna work on the sacred heart now and we're just gonna intend love true. Okay, now love is the highest vibration there is, okay? It's a polar opposite to fear. Now when we talk about peace with people that have been in an abusive relationship, okay. Or an abusive upbringing, or it could be even abuse from a past life. 
okay that's causing a suffering within you now okay and you haven't had any abusive nature or you may be have abusive tendencies being attracted to you a bit like what we call a shit magnet okay and that's talking about another area of you called a geopathic field if there's an intent within the geopathic field then you become a magnet to that intent okay but we'll get to that so uh, in an abusive situation there's no love okay it's only fear okay so to bring love in we have to remove fear okay so what we'll think we'll do with this is we're going to intend the fear out of the sacred heart and we'll bring love into it okay so we're going to do that now and first of all we're going to do that with that tool but then we're going to use a different tool after that which is a new tool i've brought through as well which uh, facilitates love energy so here we go okay for everybody watching so all i do is i hold this while i make the intent okay so here we go for everybody watching and listening to this facebook live video for everyone's sacred heart fear false please disconnect release and remove all fear please from everyone's sacred heart please For everybody watching and listening to this Facebook Live video, for their sacred heart, fear false, please. Disconnect, cut all cords, all connections, all attachments, and release and remove all fear. Send it to Ascension, please. Release and remove and send to Ascension, please. Fear false, please. Release and remove all loose, all fear from everybody's sacred heart. Okay, so that's releasing. So we'll, let's do the polarity to that. For everybody's sacred heart, love true, please. For everybody watching and listening on this Facebook Live video, for this sacred heart, love true. Love true. Okay. Now I'm getting a couple of questions in, which we're going to answer now, and then we'll do the next clearing, which we're going to use a six and nine tool. Hi, Thomas. Now, uh, Giovanna has got a couple of good questions. Giovanna, so your first question, basic tool to start with, I'm new to this and really want to understand and feel, okay? So, okay, the first tool, okay, would well, that be a, that's a good, that's a big, that's a good question. Now, what I used to do is I'd say, which you can still get from my website, the stuff with a four inch sun ring and neutralization ring, which are small little rings, okay? one draws out negative field or negative energy and one uh, charges uh, with positive field or positive energy the sun ring that does the charging the neutralization pulls the negative energy out of it um, and what I've come to find is I've got some tools that I've kind of I, I feel like I've been a, a bit of an upgrade on that now I would say a good tool to start with could be those two rings no doubt about that uh, another tool that you could start with um, is is that one? Okay. Now that broadcasts out, but not that way or that way. More like that and more like that. Um, and that's why it's quite cool if you go like that and you put it like that. Right, and that gives off that energy in all directions. That charges, so anything, food or water or anything you place over or standing over top of that will charge you with an infinite frequency. Um, another tool, uh, as we've already demonstrated, that one, Starburst. So many ways of using it, you know, broadcasting energy into your house. You can use it as an intent tool, so you can place an intent and that will amplify the intent. You just point it to the direction of where you're wanting to send the, the energy to. Um, this will also keep your energy in your house clean 
50, as I say, 50 feet fold. Um, amplifies your intent even by placing an intent note. Now this is this is the cool thing about sacred geometry is is that you know what's a nutrient? Let, I'll give the analogy of this. What's a nutrient? What's a mineral? What's the difference between vitamin C and vitamin B12? You know, people will say, well, you know, vitamin C, it's ascorbic acid. It, it you know, it's uh, it, it does this and does that. Vitamin B12 is important for brain neurology, important for a number of things. But what I'm asking is, is that at the core of what makes vitamin B12 and vitamin C work is energy. Any, everything is just vibration frequency that makes it work. Now, vitamin B12 has a signature vibration frequency that's different to vitamin C. Okay, that's all it is. Okay, so where we're going to, and I quite often like it, call it jet, the Jetson age. Okay, because if anybody remembers the Jetson cartoon is um, that... You know, they're at a time where they don't eat anymore. They just dial in, oh, I want this to eat, and they just swallow a pill, and then off they go, okay? But this is not about taking pills. This is about intending a, a particular thing to occur, okay? So what you can do with these tools, for example, like this, is you can write a note for vitamin C on a piece of paper and then put a glass of water or food on this, and therefore that will that will absorb the vibration and frequency of vitamin C into that food or that water or that substance you place on top of it. Now you douse that, if you have a dowsing capability, and lo and behold, you'll find, hey, now there's vitamin C in the water, there's vitamin C in the food. Now, <clears throat> where this is taking us is it will take you to a place where you don't have to take any supplement anymore. You just intend it. It's that simple. Okay? Now, the question there is that why can't we just intend it without a tool, okay? We can do that. The, the thing about these tools, though, is, is they amplify your intent to go at a deeper level, okay? We're very, we're layered right, as a being, okay? We're, we're layered of different layers of energy. Now, you may make an intent, I want vitamin C in that, and they might go one or two layers deep. But we want to go 20 layers deep. We want to go as deep as we can into the body. Because if we're going to extract a problem, especially if we're working on a health problem, we want to extract the whole problem out, not just bits and pieces of it, okay? Obviously, one part of that, of extracting a whole problem, is, is finding out what all the components of that, what is causing that problem. Now, if we're being a part of this reality for, and this reality has been here for nearly a million years, We've got a lot of baggage we've held on to for hundreds of thousands of years, right? For all our lifetimes. You imagine how many lifetimes you've had in that time. So it's not a it's not a matter of and, and the whole analogy, the whole idea in this reality is that we take a pill and our problem's gone, right? We're looking for the cure. Okay. Now that's just the program because the problem that you have, say for example, all these people have got cancer. I'm looking for the cure. I I I am I am you know, send all this money to, to, to these agencies because they're looking for a cure, right? Now, they're looking for something then they can sell back to you, okay? So don't do that, okay? <laughs> Why not? What, that's the first thing. Now, the second thing is that that cancer didn't just happen overnight, okay? You didn't just have, didn't have cancer and then the next day you have cancer, okay? That cancer was a process that created most likely over many years or decades, okay? So it's not going to just take one pill, one day, to get rid of that problem, okay? Um, that's not even talking about cancer. Talking about a lot of our problems that we suffer with, okay? It's a journey, right? We had a journey up to this point, which we did the wrong things, or were uh, connected to the wrong things, or there was entity attachments causing manipulation within us. But there's a journey, uh, there's a journey out of it, okay? And when we understand that concept, then we can understand that all the things that we do every minute of our life is all based upon a choice of whether we do something that makes us happy or not. You know? So sorry for the long-winded answer to your question, but there are a few. The, the Starburst tool, uh, the Infinity uh, symbol, uh, Sun Ring, Neutralization Ring, they're all good places to start. Now, another question. Uh, from Giovanni was uh, I, uh, how are we supposed to know 
if your past life was bad, okay, and we've had many past lives, as I just mentioned, you know, some of us have been here hundreds of thousands of years. Um, I would say probably the biggest thing is if something doesn't feel right in this life, for example, the analogy I said before, you felt, you feel abused even though you haven't been brought up in an abusive uh, childhood, you haven't been involved in an abusive relationship, but you feel that way. Most likely you had that in a past life, right? Um, but we're not going to know the specifics of, um, for example, within a, a session, we'd be able to find that out for you. Um, and we, we don't just go all past lives, we can get into a specific past life itself if we need to. Uh, but my channel will only direct me there if that's part of your problem. If, if it's not, then it won't, we, we won't have to go there. Okay, right. So what we're going to do in regards to the Sacred Heart, it was the 6 and 9 tool. Okay, so this is another tool. This is a tool that you will not find anywhere else. This is a completely new tool. Okay, and it's very simple. Now, it's a very similar to a geometry tool, which was a crystalline geometry tool, which was called the G, okay? And it just was like that, but a G, right? There was no connection point here. It was just a G, okay? Now, this is bigger than a G, okay? But it's the same geometry or ratio to the G crystalline tool because that tool go, went about the geometry, which we call the spiral ratio um, geometry, okay? The golden uh, spiral ratio geometry, which this uh, has a geometry to it, but it also encompasses numer numerology too which makes it even more powerful, and that comes into our reality as well. When we think about what creates this reality is geometry, one, and numerology, two, number, okay? Hence, as young children, what is the first thing you learn? Shapes and numbers, right? That's the true reality of it, but we never understand the power of shapes and numbers. We see shapes all around us, these squares, these rectangles, triangles everywhere, but that is what creates our reality. But when we understand that it creates our reality, then we can use those shapes then to amplify what we want to do in our life. There we go. There's a clue to, to, to your reality. And also understanding what numbers symbolize, right? So to keep a long story short, I had to figure out what numbers meant, okay? And what I found, the number six and the number nine was very particular. And this gets back to also Tesla's whole thing about you have the key to the universe once you understand what 369 is, okay? And I've done a video about that on my YouTube channel, so I'm not going to go into big length of that. But this tool encompasses, if I can get this right, a 6 and a 9, okay? Now, the 6 creates you to be in the infinite now, so it's a great meditated tool. So people are talking about, you know, peace of mind at the moment so we're going to use the six and the nine with this tool now first of all we're going to use the nine because nine is love okay now nine is the intent and manifestation of love okay now again this tool works at this size alone okay i was told it had to be this geometry this ratio this size for it to work okay so what we're going to do is i'm just going to put the camera on it and we're just going to intend love okay into the sacred heart and then we're going to do another clearing, but with a six in regards to keeping your mind clear. Okay, so here we go. Okay, for everybody watching and listening to this Facebook Live video, nine for this sacred heart, in any area that's required, nine true, please. The intent and manifestation of love, please. Encode and program everybody watching and listening's sacred heart and component of them that is required with nine, please. Encode and program with nine. Nine true. Encode and program everybody's sacred heart with nine, please. The intent and manifestation of love, please. Michael, yes. If you've uh, just let this clear and go through. Nine, true. OK. 
All right, so that's finished. Okay. Uh, yes, you can. You can suffer in this life if you've had issues in the bad life, and there's still a connection between that life and this one. Yes, that, that can be possible, Michael. Uh, Chris, you can't see the nine. Okay, so I've just got to get it around the right way. Um, so it's the nine there. Okay, so nine. Okay, and then you've got six. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to use the six, and we are going to use this for, I'll just check, and mine probably be the best thing to do. Would mine be the best place, the six, or should we do something else? Anywhere else other than the mine. Okay, so what we're going to do for everybody's mind, we're going to, encode and program with six okay so here we go okay for everybody watching and listening to this facebook live video i encode and program their mind please the conscious and subconscious mind with six please the infinite now for everybody's mind conscious and subconscious mind six true please Encode and program with six, please. Encode and program everybody's mind, conscious and subconscious mind, with six, please. The infinite now. Okay, so that's finished. Now, that, now, infinite now, okay? So, what is the infinite now? Okay, so the infinite now is understanding that time is just a construction within this reality. Time really is not real, okay? So, when we think about time and we think about us being in the present moment, okay? The, the key to being in the present moment, being in the infinite now i'm thinking everything's just infinite now for example how many times do we hear ourselves or hear other people say you know back when i was da 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 so so yeah, say 10 or, or 15 i did that back then i did that right in the past i did that now you didn't do that in the past okay we just say that to have relevance of this whole time phenomena but you did that when you were 15 or whatever. You did that in the present moment. You never did that in the past. You're not doing anything in the future. You're not doing anything in the past. You always do something in the present time, which we call the infinite now. There's no us doing stuff in the past. There's no us doing in the future. We just use those that terminology to get our heads around the idea of time, okay, that we did something back then and we did something that's ahead of us. But we only do, things only change in the now, okay? Okay? So quite often when we get a lot of distraction and we get into, I love the whole, uh, the quote that they used to talk about anxiety and depression was, depression is looking too far back, anxiety is looking too far ahead of oneself, right? So it's staying out of the present, okay? A lot of these problems like anxiety and, and depression are fear issues. And the thing is, when we put ourselves too far ahead of ourselves, too far back. We put ourselves into a place of uh, a lack of control, okay? And when we don't have control, then we are in a fearful state, okay? And therefore depression, anxiety, and fearful conditions can occur. Being in the infinite now and understanding that, hey, I've got all these things happening around me, but all I can do in this, all that I have control over is what I do right now, okay? When you can put yourself in that state, okay, obviously it's easier said than done, but if you can put yourself in that state, then all of a sudden you'll realize that your product productivity, your ability to connect to your true self and know that and get through all BS 
and has enhanced massively when you can keep yourself in the infinite now. And that what that's what that tool's all about, okay? Is trying to keep you in the infinite now. And the whole idea is outside of this reality, there is the on, there is only the infinite. Okay? There's the question of how many galaxies, how many universes are there? We live in a multitude of universes, infinite universes, infinite galaxies, infinite. Everything's infinite. You, your true self, your source self is infinite. Okay. This whole idea of a birth and a death, a start and a finish, it's all it's all programmed. It's a program. Yeah, vibrating. Yep, that's that's normal. Yep. You're feeling an energetic shift. Okay, so that's what vibration is. As I say, with this, with this uh, free group healing, it's more about generic clearings. Okay, for individual specific problems, um, for individual specific problems, we have to look at individual clearings we need to do, and that will be more in an in a individual clearing basis, not a not a group clearing. Okay, so what we're going to do now is, oh, one thing I, I was going to mention, I had a, had a, had a client who, um, going back to the, uh, this tool here, the infinity symbol, and I did a clearing with this person using uh, infinite frequencies, and they had a visualization when they had a very big clearing using it, and they closed their eyes and they saw a visualization and they saw a uh, hourglass. And what's our what's an hourglass? Hourglass is a symbolism of time, right? Now, if we flipped that around, if we squared those ends there, you've got an hourglass right there, don't you? Okay, it's the number eight too. Okay. But it was interesting that that vision came to them because, um, and they also saw all saw Osiris too. Now, Osiris and many like many of the beings that created this reality use time to lower our vibration. Okay, as I said, time causes a lot of health problems. As I just mentioned, time causes a lot of health problems. And the thing about the hourglass, though, is you know you see it through here until there's none left and all here. But all you've got the option of doing that, right? And all of a sudden there, before then it finishes, there, 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 there. All of a sudden we create infinite time or infinity. Okay, so again, another thing in regards to that, I thought I'd bring it up. Okay, right. So we'll use the six and nine tool. We'll use, uh, we'll brought in Sacred Heart. Okay, um, let's look at some of the other things that people have wanted to work on and we'll see what uh, my channel tells me we should do. Okay. Right, okay, so, now, is there anything else we need to do, mine, okay, not perfect, what about connecting with our true selves, what would be a good clearing, please, for everyone to connect to their true selves, please, yeah, All right. yeah, okay, for a certain area of each person, okay, and what, what area? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and say what? Okay. And any other area? Okay, what area, please? We go, please. Yeah, just say that. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do now is it's saying ascension true. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say for everybody's source self, ascension true. And then after that, we're going to say for everybody's master self, which is your simulated self, the same thing. So it just brings that connection or let's say the compatibility of the source self and you here closer together. Okay, so here we go. So for everybody, as I say, I'm going to hold this tool and make the intent. Okay, so for everybody watching and listening, to this Facebook Live video for their source self, Ascension True. 
source self ascension true source self ascension true source self ascension true For everybody, source self, ascension true. Okay. Now, for all, for everybody's master or coded self, ascension true. For everybody watching and listening to this video within the Facebook Live, their master or coded self, ascension true. Okay, so that's finishing up. Now, Chris bid good in regards to can't see the nine. You don't need to see the nine for the healing to take place. The nine was under the camera. And my camera, the camera is obviously the channel to everyone on Facebook Live. Okay, so that's the thing. I have a lot of clients that we just do phone calls over where I can't see them. We just hear their voice and that gives me a connection to them through their signature vibration of their voice. So you don't, you don't need to see the geometry for it to work. Okay. Uh, okay, right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to make an intent for everybody here uh, in regards to their resonance, okay? I'm just going to see if it's okay for me to do that. Yep. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the intent for... Now, everybody would have heard of the Schumann resonance, okay? Now... I kind of look at that as the human resonance, okay? So what we're seeing at the moment, there's a lot of people that are connecting with the ascension process, seeing you know, um, there's a lot of groups on Facebook that in regards to the symptoms they're getting, which are ascension symptoms through energetic shifts that therefore create symptoms within them. Now, they quite often look at the human resonance, look for spikes and different activity happening through. Um, only, uh, I think it was only three or four days ago, we had a really big, big spike. It was actually a whiteout of the, Sh uh, the Schumann resonance. Um, and that was uh, um, actually within this reality, there is a sphere of uh, plasma. And that was actually broken for a, a temporary um, reason. And, uh, and it created a really big whiteout of the Schumann resonance. Now, this got me thinking about resonance in itself. And I thought, well, if we want to be closer to our source self, our true self, we don't want to be connected to that resonance of the disturbance of going up and down like a roller coaster and therefore being up and down with our health, right? Well, because it's turbulent energy of, of energetic shifts happening all the time. Why don't we connect our resonance to our source self? So that's what we're going to do in this clearing. We're just going to remove your human resonance with and replace it with source resonance instead, okay? So here we go. <clears throat> for everybody watching and listening to this Facebook Live, human resonance false, source resonance true. For everybody watching and listening to this Facebook Live video demonstration, human resonance false, source resonance true. 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 Everybody watching and listening, human resonance false, source resonance true. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sinan has got a question there. Should we find the name of uh, uh, the name of a specific name of a virus, bacteria, or fungus, or is it 
okay just to say intend fungus false or uh, virus false. Now what I've come to find is um, fungus false works fine, uh, mold false works fine, viruses and bacteria, the more specific you can be with the information the better, that's all I can say. Um, whether you say virus false and you get a, a, a clearing from it, you may, okay? I'm not going to say that you won't. Um, but I feel the more specific the information, the more specific the clearing can be, and therefore uh, more accurate your clearing and removing the problem is going to be. So that's that's my opinion. But uh, if, you, if you've got the means, uh, the intuition, the dowsing capability to find a specific name for the virus, the specific entity, specific bacteria, you're going to have a more accurate clearing. Uh, but will you get a clearing by just saying virus false, bacteria false? Maybe. That's my answer there. Bye, Carol. You're welcome. Now, let's move on with regards to clearings. Let's look at uh, heartbreak in relationships. And then what we're going to do after that, we're going to do some DNA, RNA, and telomere activation. Okay, so what do we need to do now in regards to Relationship and heartbreak, please. What would be the best clearing for people in regards to that? Yeah, H. Yeah. Okay. And a specific area. Where, please? Okay. Uh, it's a component of heart. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Okay. So what we're going to do. <clears throat> In regards to going through a tough time in regards to relationships, heartbreak, is we're going to make an intent for the heart, not the sacred heart, the heart. Now, the, the sacred heart is like the connection of, or the channel facilitation of energy through you here to your source self. <clears throat> we're going to look at more the physicality of the heart or the coded or simulated self of the heart of you being in this reality. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to just intend heart resonance, okay? That's going to create a nice resonance of energy within the heart itself, okay? So we are going to do that now. And first of all, before we're going to do that, I'm going to ask what tool would be the best way to facilitate that resonance, okay? So what tool would be the best thing to res create resonance, okay? Beautiful. So it's just going to ask to use the hypercube or test right? So here we go, again, holding on to this cube, now make the intent. So everyone, here we go. For everybody watching and listening to Facebook Live video, for everybody's heart, heart resonance true, please. Heart resonance true. Heart resonance true. For everybody's heart watching and listening to this video, heart resonance true. Heart resonance true, please. Heart resonance true. Okay, so that's finishing up. Now, we've got a question here from Josie. Uh, Chris, if a person does not resonate with ascension dimensions, etc., are the healings still taking place for whatever is needed? Great question. Now, everybody will be benefiting from these energies, but all different levels, okay, where they're at, okay? I can't be, I, I don't know that specifically unless we individually do a, a session or a clearing with a specific person to find out where you are, but um, it will resonate. Um, but the effect of it will be different for everybody, depending on where they are, if that, if that, that, that makes sense. Um, you mentioned the word dimensions. I don't really work with dimensions anymore. Um, it's all about connecting oneself to their source self in a better way, because that's what ascension is. Ascension is 
not an event it's a consciousness okay and it's what we talked about before it's a journey okay um and there's a process involved with that again the whole idea of thinking that there's a lot of information out there in regards to ascension about a solar flash okay and one big solar flash and then everything's going to be great and fantastic it doesn't resonate with me because it's very it's kind of connected to that old that idea of a cure that everything one thing's just going to make everything great again or yeah and everything's going to be brilliant i think you know this this whole suffering phenomenon that humanity's been in under for a very very long time was a process a very long one a long journey for hundreds of thousands of years um am i saying that the process out of that's going to take hundreds of thousands of years i i don't think that I think it's a lot faster, but is it a process of one thing event or one thing happening and everything's going to be great? No, I don't think that's true either. Um, so ascension is, is a journey, okay, of finding oneself. It's essentially it. Or or getting back to one's true self again and understanding what reality is, why I'm here, all those big questions, why I'm here, where I come from, that's ascension to me. Got another question by Sinan. Uh, which is better, uh, chakra removal, recalibration? Okay. <laughs> oh, thanks. Okay. Um, my opinion, okay, and this is my opinion, okay. Again, you know, Dow's on this, okay, and that's what I always say to people. This is just information that I'm sharing through that I'm getting channeled, okay. This is information that's coming through me, okay. It's not my information. And I just wanted to share it to people, okay? And if you're somebody that was an energy healer or works of energy, please try it yourself. Dows upon it yourself. If it resonates with you, great. If it doesn't, you know, look for your own truth. Everyone has a piece of the puzzle, so to speak. Okay, so in regards to the chakra system, I, I'm not a fan of it, okay? Because I think for a long time in regards to, and really I haven't been around a long time in regards to the energy circles. Yeah, this is something... You know, um, uh, you know my, uh, my personal uh, journey was that I was very much into supplements, diet, nutrition, healing that way. Whole idea of removing entities and things of entities, like probably even as back as what five years ago, uh, was not part of my reality then. So, you know, uh, haven't been in those circles for a very long time. But what I have noticed since I've been in the circles and what once I've been into, you know, understanding the whole idea of energy uh, and, 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 and the whole holistic point of view is that people just keep having the clear jump out of their chakra system. Things are manipulations, whether they're entities or negative energies, curses, law of attraction, the aura. Uh, and what what I've what I've come to find, and this is my observation with using the chakra system, using the aura in regards to energy as an energy healer, is that they are sources of energy, but for manipulation of energy, feeding of energy or few. Okay. Quite often hear that the chakra system is like your energy backpack. Now, is it your energy backpack that's there for you or is it there for somebody else? And I, my experience is for something else. Um, entities just to plug into it and feed off your energy. So I'm not a big fan of the chakra system. So the point, uh, but if anybody comes in into a, uh, a session with me and they want to work on specific chakras, we do it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here for them uh, and uh, yeah, I'm not here to push anyone's Again, this is my opinion and what I've uh, seen in regards to my experience. Um, but if every if somebody's into chakra healing, all for it, you know, all, all for them doing what they want to do, what makes them happy. You know? um, the aura, uh, I find that I call our aura a bioenergetic field. Okay, so it's what we deem the connection between our energy body to our biology. Okay, so. When I call it that, and I see it as more of a, um, a tensor field, okay, which is based upon the whole idea of a tensor ring. 
Now, the whole idea of a tensor field or a tensor ring is that transmuting energy, okay? And on a side note, this is where the whole idea of 5G and, and what we're going through at the moment with, with frequency warfare, so to speak. This, this is the way forward. Geometry and tensor ring technology and transmuting field, because energy doesn't start or finish. As I said, everything's infinite, right? The, the whole idea of a start and a finish is a program. Now, energy doesn't start and finish it, it transmutes, okay? So why not make your energy field a tensor field? So if anything negative is coming towards it, it transmutes it, transmute it into something positive and compatible for you. Okay, and that's my understanding of what really our aura should be. Okay, now our geopathic field, which is a bigger field, which really is our law of attraction, but more of a, a pure sense of it, encompasses not only ourselves, our field that your job, your environment, your your house, people that you see and, and have to work with every day. Now, this field has to be within a Merkaba. Okay. Um, another thing is the Kundalini is I kind of feel the chakra system, the aura, even the word soul to a certain point and Kundalini are all distraction based probably from a reptilian mean, means. Um, we want to go with fields that we know works, and I know that tensor fields works and transmuting negative field and positive field. If we can incorporate that within our own field, then you're going to be better for it. That's my answer to that question. Now, quickly talking about 5G, while well, we've mentioned that, because that is a big topic with a lot of people, and one thing that Slim Sperling found with his tools, um, for example, the AccuVac core, and I'll see if I can find it, because I think I dropped it somewhere, and I did, and I'm just going to reach it with my foot, sorry, everybody. Right, okay, here we go. Okay, so this is one of his tools here, okay? Now, as I said, he brought tensor rings uh, with twisted wire to... Um, yeah. You've been blessed to hear... Um, Siri, come on my phone by itself, which happens, okay? It's, you know, I, I see and every, uh, hear everything every day. <laughs> okay, now, um, it's just brought me a message, which I'm just going to... Now, quite often, my phone goes off like that. Siri uh, brings a message. It's either uh, an unwanted energy here, um, but, uh, in this, uh, but in this um, example, it's, it's someone trying to tell me something very beneficial. I've just written it down. Now, he brought that, okay, a twisted wire, okay, and he would create it to lengths. Now, the key to this is not whether it's circular or not. As you can see, that's not perfectly circular. It's the lengths, and they call it a cubit length, okay? And the first uh, cubit length they did that they created was called a sacred royal cubit, which is based upon uh, in the king's chambers of the Giza pyramid, which is that length there. That's a full uh, cubit length, okay? Now, they call it a full cubit length because you can make that in a half cubit length or a quarter cubit length. As long as it's the same ratio of that length, then you'll get a healing from it, okay? And he created those lengths and he found that, hey, it created a tensor field. And that field would transmute or restructure things. So he found you could restructure water with it. So, for example, your glass of water here, you'd place it, place it through the ring like that or you could place it over the top of the ring, and that would go ahead and restructure that water, so that water would become more hydrating to you, okay? Or, or any part of the body that you'd work on, you know, they'd work on the chakra system and so on. Now, he got bored one day because of making all these rings, and he thought, what else can I do with copper wire? And he created that tool there called an AccuVac coil, okay? Now, AccuVac coil, um, again, works with the idea of transmuting energy, okay? It's called an AccuVac, a vac short for vacuum. And one end has got end where it draws out and pulls out negative field like a vacuum. And one end, then you put positive field back in because this tool would transmute negative field back into positive field. Okay. And um, 
we'll do just a quick scenario now with the ActiVac, just see if you can get a bit of feel of a pulling sensation from it. So here we go. Okay, so everybody watching and listening, ActiVac coil true. Okay, so I don't know if anybody might feel a drawing or pulling sensation. If you put your hand up to the video, sometimes you can feel a little bit more. But obviously works a lot better if we can make a more of a specific intent with it. But that works that way. And what that does, it, it's like, a, I call this the energetic uh, version of a dialysis machine. Dialysis machine for somebody's kidney failure, draws out all the blood, the machine cleans it, puts it back into the body. Okay. So negative input into the machine, positive output out of the machine back into the body. We do that energetically using an Acuvac coil. Now, I'm making also um, new tools, and this one is a, a mini Acuvac coil connected, but twisted wire connected to an infinity. Now, that what that means is that infinity or infinite frequency is charging the, uh, the positive charging of uh, the Acuvac. And you can wear that as a pendant. What that does, while acting, having it as a pendant like that, it creates a field of 25 feet around you of uh, keeping the energy really high vibrational too. So it's giving that field of that, of transmitting negative and, and, and then transmitting the positive field around me 25 feet. Okay, so that's, uh, this is again a new tool that I'm bringing to Truly Holistic. Now that's a, a half cubit. That's a full cubit. Okay, so you can see the length and the difference. Now they work just as powerful as each other, but obviously what's more convenient for you, the smaller one or the bigger one. Um, now this length, uh, what we're going get, to get into the next clearing using tele, uh, doing DNA, RNA, telomere uh, activations is <clears throat> my channel brought to me two new qubit lengths, which are not known to anybody. Uh, I looked up on the internet, I couldn't find the same lengths that that channel through to me. And I call them the RNA activation qubit and the telomere activation qubit. And these particular ones that I'm making these out of are based on the telomere activation qubit length. Okay, so these are very unique and very specific. Okay, and for anybody that doesn't know about what telomeres are, okay, now RNA is your specific personal coding, okay. We've got the DNA, we've got the RNA. DNA is kind of like what you've been passed down. Okay, in regards to family, RNA is your own personal coding. Now, telomeres uh, within the caps of your chromosomes, okay? Like if we use the analogy of the caps that you have on your shoelaces at the end of it. Now, let's use the same analogy with your shoelaces, okay? When that plastic cap at the end breaks away, then your shoelace frays out, doesn't it? And it, 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 and it, you know, it won't work anymore. Uh, it looks horrible and so on. Now, probably a bad analogy, but what happens is what they know within this reality in regards to time is that when you get to a certain number of um, telomeres or length of telomere length, then you die, okay? Now, so it's a measure of how vital a certain area of your body is, depending on the length of the telomere, okay? So we've got a tool here now that activates telomerase, which is an enzyme that stops the telomere from shortening and maybe even re-lengthening the telomere. So we're talking about regeneration. We're talking about anti-aging, perhaps, here. So that's what that qubit is there. That's a full, full qubit length of the active telomere activation ring and that's what we're going to use in this next healing okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to change the frequency of your dna and your rna and your telomeres to the current frequencies coming in with an ascension and then we're going to activate them you know, the components, especially, you know, we hear the word de junk DNA. It's junk DNA because it hasn't been activated yet. Let's activate that. And that's what we're going to do. Okay, so what we're going to first do is going to make a few intents. And you're going to hear me say, 
color change true okay now what that means is we're changing frequency because spectrum of frequency we have different frequencies and they give off different light okay or well, different color right i'm also a color therapist and i use color cottons for example just quickly show you this this is how i got started before i got into true quantum healing this is a color therapist this is a coil and i've actually changed the score this was based upon my grandmother um who i got into color therapy she passed away and my mother had all the coils and all the, her color therapy stuff and one day it just dawned upon me i need to get out of this bs nature of the information coming forth i was learning to become a nutritionist and i was nearly there in regards to all my studies but i had a moment where i was like but i want to teach what i think's right in regards to nutrition not all this bs that i'm learning to get a degree in or a diploma in now i need something that does not have bs and lo and behold this fell in my lap energy healing this is essentially how i got to it because there's no bs in regards to this this is, this is just what it is and i like to use the analogy that there's no good or bad there's only experience there's no abnormal and there's no normal there is just what is okay and if you can live your life by those two things then you know a lot of truth will be attracted to you okay you'll just remove all the bs now i changed this because of looking at these so the way that these work is this end of the coil wraps back in and then connects to the other end. So it's a, it's a ever revolving circuit. Okay. Now I've done that with, with the nature of, of the coil. So now this is, this is the money end. Okay. This is, this is where all the healing happens. We've got a geometry of the coil. Okay. And then we've got that end connecting to the plate, this end connecting to the plate as well. And what we do is we find, certain colors that are required for example which give off a resonance of frequency so for example a color coffin's light i've got a page of all the different blues all the different yellows or browns uh, i've got a black and then once we find the right resonance of colors that are required to heal then we put that on the plate and we put a photo or a name of that person and then that works from a distance over a few days now if anybody out there is interested in color therapy, this is going to be a system that's going to be coming to Truly Holistic um, eventually. Uh, there's so many things going on in regards to uh, projects at the moment, but that is going to be a project that I'm going to have on my website for people to learn how to do, and I'm going to coach people and teach people how to do it as well. And you're going to have all the things, including the, the coils and the colors and everything to do it. So what we're going to do is say color change, and that's just going to bring a more frequency within the DNA, the RNA, and the telomeres. And what I see is that is they're like solar panels for light, okay? And we need to bring a more broader spectrum of light to activate certain parts of the DNA, RNA, and allow the telomeres to work correctly, get the telomerase to make sure that the telomeres aren't shortening the way they are with this reality and the way people are living, okay? So let's start off with the activations. We're just going to use, again, the hypercube. I'm going to touch this and we are all set to go okay so here we go now for everybody watching and listening's dna block dissemble everybody's dna block into dna tiles true please for everybody watching and listening to this live facebook video for everybody's dna block dissemble the dna block into dna tiles true Okay, now for everybody's DNA tiles, color change true. For everybody watching and listening to this Facebook video, for their DNA tiles, color change true. Good. Okay, now for everybody's a, a DNA tiles assemble and combine back into the DNA block, please. Okay, so we've done the DNA. So here we go to the RNA. For everybody's RNA block, 
Dissemble the RNA block into RNA tiles, please. Okay. For everybody's RNA tiles, color change true. For everybody watching and listening, for everybody's RNA tiles, color change true. Good. Now, assemble and combine everybody's RNA tiles back into their own RNA block, please. So that intent works really fast with these clearings. Okay, now for everybody's telomere block, all dissemble all telomere tiles, please. Dissemble into telomere tiles. For everybody's telomere tiles, color change true. Color change true. Okay. Now assemble and combine telomere tiles back into their own telomere block, please. For everybody watching and listening. Okay. So that the first part of that's complete. We're going to then use the rings now. Now I'm just seeing a few questions. I'm going to answer. Um, uh, carry us is it supposed to feel like it's pulling from the solar plexus it can be to you everyone's going to feel it in a different way everyone's unique and that's another thing that we need to understand about a reality and also whether that's your diet nutrition thought processes ways of going about life everyone is unique and we need to look at it in a unique way so therefore if there's a process or a, something involved in as a healer that just use the same process for everybody then you may want to question that okay the thing about here at true holistic i may have 10 people with the same problem but that gonna have that problem for all different reasons and i look at it in that way okay so one thing about my system here at true holistic is i do use a true quantum healing um, system but it's always evolving because energy is always evolving if we're gonna connect up to the idea of ascension and we know that ascension is an upgrade of our consciousness of humanity then we need to upgrade with it and my system and my tools that i use are always changing because i need to keep up with it because energy is always transmuting and we need to keep up with it um, i get a lot of comments on my youtube channel with videos that i did a year ago two years ago and, and they'll say you know why why do you say that and, and question something and it's like well i've got to tell them that that's kind of redundant now, that, that that thinking or those energies now, because we're at a different level of vibration, different frequency, different consciousness now than we were even a year, uh, 18 months ago. So, you know, you want to kind of keep up with the newer videos because the videos I'm bringing in uh, are, are, are relevant to the energies that, we're that are being exposed to now. Um, is that in store now the things that a lot of these new tools that i've been using the, the starburst um the infinity symbol uh the these here the pendants they are all uh a work in progress at the moment they're not on my store as yet i'm hoping in the next couple of weeks that they're going to be on my store okay i'm really working hard on on getting uh, uh enough of those to then put them on the store and for people to buy them Okay, so they'll be coming soon. So keep an eye out. I'll, I'll notify people when when they're here. Another one that um another tool just before we get on to the next clearing um, is is a pendant, a key pendant. Okay, and that this is really a cool tool for bringing you closer to your source self as well. Uh, it connects you to your source self really, really good. And it's actually the new onk. Okay, and when we talk about onk. That's, that's the Egyptian Ankh, right? Uh, all the hieroglyphics, all the um, gods or uh, you know, all the uh, uh, pharaohs used to hold one of those. Um, they used it in a negative way. Um, we won't talk about it in this video, but um, this is like a keyhole or a channel of source energy through. And, and that is more the, uh, the current Ankh. Okay, and uh, and I've done it in a way that you can wear as a pendant. You can hold it and wear it as a pendant, 
uh, and they'll also help with protection, create a field around you, but also connect you to your source self in a, a much profound way. You can also just hang it up in your workspace or in your car, and that will create a field of really nice vibration energy as well. So that's another one that's coming. Um, now, next question. Um, yeah, what, yeah, good good point, Chris. You were saying that they're great for my work because there are lots of negative people. Now, if you're working with people um, and you know that there's a lot of negative energy from them, that, that was a big thing for me. Like, um, I was all about, you know, the, what's the biggest tool I can use, you know, uh, using a triple pyramid, using a Vesca Pisces, you know. But I kind of feel like the power is where, you know, and I love I love this tool too, obviously, if I can keep it, it's my baby, but it, the power is, is having the geometries on you all the time. So these things that you can wear as pendant, you can wear as a bracelet, or you can uh, put in your pocket, uh, which sometimes are the smaller tools, I think are the most powerful because you can take them around with them, you can use them anything. For example, um, these tools we're about to use, which are the RNA activation ring and the DNA activation ring. I'm going to sell not at that size, but at, oops, at a quarter cubit length. Okay, so they are, example, that's the full cubit, that's the quarter cubit. Okay. Now, why are like this size for a majority of people? For a practitioner like me, that's a great size, right? Um, but these are the sizes you can place in a pocket. Okay, you can have put it in your purse or in your bag, carry around you whenever you need it. Okay, and you can they'll just work just the same. They they have the same power. Okay, they just don't have a as big a surface area. So, for example, instead of standing over top of that, you may have to put that in a specific area that you need it. Okay, or you can place it between your hands like. You're praying to make the intent for that energy go through you okay good things of these is is you can place it like that right place it under your water so you're you're structuring all the rna that's within the water um and and, and same thing with the telomere ring so they're going to be uh coming as well um do you sell those pen peanuts well already answered that question they'll be they'll be coming in it um, correct, yes, hospitals, a lot of negative, negative energies in hospitals. You, not only the fact of modern medicine and, and, and big pharma, but you know, all the people in there are suffering from uh, entity attachments, negative energies, um, you know, also you know, a lot of infections that you know, are really placed there a lot of the time through intent. Um, oh, excellent, Irena. Excellent. Right, okay. So what we're going to do, this is going to be the last couple of uh, demos or healings, and we're going to use the, the two activator rings, okay? So let's do, first of all, we're going to use the lost cubit ring, which is a DNA activator, and then we'll do the RNA, and then we'll do the telomere, okay? So here we go. Right. Okay, and now what do you want me to intend it with the lost cubit? Yeah, cool. Okay, here we go. For everybody watching and listening to this video, okay, live Facebook video, lost cubit ring, DNA activator ring, true, please. For everybody watching and listening to wherever they require it, lost cubit, DNA activation ring, true, please. For everybody watching and listening to this live Facebook, for wherever they need it within their being or body, lost cubit, DNA activation ring true.
Okay, so it's finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace that one with the RNA. So here we go. Okay, for everybody watching and listening, for anywhere where they require it, RNA activation ring true. RNA activation ring true. RNA activation ring true. Now, what I will say about these rings, especially the RNA and the next one we're going to do, for anybody having a certain issue where they continue to have infection issues or pain or issues like that, we use these rings to repair the RNA, repair the telomeres in regards to those areas, and we're, we're making some really good progress with these rings. So what we're doing here, as, as I say, it's a group healing, it's a generic healing. And for you to get a feel of this and for people to um, get some of these really big activated rings that I'm, uh, or, or, or energies that we're finding, uh, they're working really well. But obviously in sessions, we can do it a lot more specific to a specific area that is required for you. For everybody watching and listening, RNA activation ring true, please. RNA activation ring true. Okay, so that's lifting off. Let's take that out. Okay, now we're going to use the telomere one. Now this is the king of the, the three rings. Right, here we go. For everybody watching and listening to this video, telomere activation ring true, please. For everybody watching and listening to this Facebook Live video, Wherever they re require or need it, please, within their being, within their body, telomere activation ring true. Telomere activation ring true. Telomere activation ring true. Right, so that's finished. Hope you enjoyed those. Okay, and thank you. I must say thank you for everybody that's uh, joined this uh, group healing. This won't be the only one. We'll do it again. Um, and I uh, hope you've really enjoyed the time and, and uh, the time that you've given up to be here. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, I hope you've got some really good benefit, not only from information I'll be able to share with you but obviously the information that has come from the geometry tools and also my channel to bring to you so um, uh, as I say um, you know, a lot of those tools will be coming up surfacing on my website within the next few weeks um, and um, and I've got a few projects including the color therapy system also including another system which I'm loosely calling uh, escaping uh, our matrix reality how a survival kit so to speak, against 5G and all this sort of stuff that we're being bombarded with all the time, which is going to have, it's going to have a guide booklet talking about our reality of what I talked about near the, at the start of this, uh, this group healing about our reality, but also about um, a guideline of using a number of tools to facilitate within your home, to work on yourself, to have little pendants or things on you that are going to create uh, and transmute negative field into positive field. So that's another system that will be coming uh, as well for people uh, that can that want to be empowered with their own healing capabilities. Uh, and uh, I'm excited about that. But it keeps getting postponed because um, yeah, I'm getting channeled new tools all the time, and I've got new tools uh, I'm, I'm getting uh, channeled through to me already. Uh, that uh, are going to be coming uh, is the next line of new tools coming. Uh, though I'm just getting uh, designs for them that I'm writing down uh, that will be coming a little bit later again. So uh, things are changing big time, and I know that's why I know ascension is happening and things are changing because every day, every week, I'm getting new information coming through. I'm getting new tools 
uh, new designs of tools that we are going to facilitate a new age in regards to humanity and us becoming closer to our source self, okay, and our true reality. And uh, I'm excited to share all that with you, and uh, and uh, uh, I can't wait for it. So, as I say, thank you very much. Um, if anybody wants to book an appointment with me, go to my website, treeholistic.net, um, and we can do specific clearings. Now, not only we do healings, but if anybody out there would like to take their own healing practice of whatever they're doing, or wants to become more intuitive, or the answers of where I originally come from, what what type of being I am. Uh, I also do. Uh, you can book an appointment with me, uh, which is doing kind of working on your business or working on your intuitive capabilities. We cater for that as well. So if anybody's interested in that, we do that as well. Um, but yeah. Thank you for everybody. I better, I must go now and uh, thank you very much.